Hi, everybody. Welcome to this Monday edition of First Look. We hope you all had a nice weekend. We've got a lot of things cooking for tonight, including a, uh, we're looking into the Iranian connection vis-a-vis -vis the war in Iraq. We've got a story out of Baghdad is Lara in Baghdad, right? About um, another day of violence, we're sad to say, a year after uh, the, the mosque bombing that really started uh, the descent into uh, complete chaos that we've witnessed in the last year in, in Iraq, in many parts of Iraq, or at least in the Baghdad area. Uh, we've got another American spirit focused on a woman who started a uh, an online networking organization called 85 Broads based on 85 Broad Street, the address of Goldman Sachs, where she worked and had a high-ranking position but felt alienated after she left to have a baby. I'm most excited, quite frankly, about our closer tonight featuring Richard Schlesinger. You might have seen his brilliant Muzak piece. Well, I was more brilliant because I knew that it was Summer Place, that the last brilliant. Muzak uh, song. Uh, but, I you know, know I just made me want to eat Cold Stone ice cream because that's how, well, what you had throughout it. Yeah, I know, You'd exactly. want to resist that, especially if you look like me. Tonight, we're, <laughs> we're, uh, if you eat too much ice cream and you get sleepy, you, uh, we're going to tell you why you should consider taking a nap at work. Maybe not you because people would tune in and then <laughs> they wouldn't know what you were doing. Well, maybe that would but, help if I was just like passed out on the desk. <laughs> but other people um, can take uh, comfort in a new study that shows that taking a nap uh, improves your, uh, your, the health of your heart, but also it, it looks like it might improve your productivity at work, which sounds like an oxymoron, but actually isn't if you consider people throughout history, great people throughout history who took regular naps. Really? Yeah, we'll talk to you about that tonight. Now, how long should these naps be? Because I know there's a point at which you go into REM sleep. And yeah. I, whenever I take a nap, seriously, I can't nap because I am so out of it. Yeah, I can't either. I feel Once, so yeah. wasted when I wake up from a nap, yeah. and I never feel refreshed. Well, actually, there's a there's an answer to that. 20 minutes is apparently the cutoff. Anything more than 20 minutes, and you're... It, you're you're just sleeping on the job. There's a difference between <laughs> the difference between napping and sleeping on the job, as it turns out. And that magic moment is 20 minutes. All right, now. Are but really and truly, I mean, this is serious. They, they they have found that that productivity, workers' productivity, increases with regular naps. So, are there companies out there, Richard, who are encouraging their employees there to are. nap? There are. We went to an to an ad agency that's you know very hard charging and all that. They have a they have a special pod that their people can nap and there's a company Seriously? that makes napping pods yeah this is great um then there's like, a like when you're in nursery school and you get on your mat and take a little nap and then they well, give you graham crackers and a carton I, of milk I, I don't think they get graham crackers but and, and it's not a map you this is that. all very high tech it's oh, a, it is? it's, a, it's so an electric it's, do, thing do you lie down or do you yeah just you lie down, down you and, lie and down? you push a button and it, it, it's like an airplane seat it, it goes back and Ooh. it's uh, uh it's very nice me very sleepy richard i have that effect on you frequently don't I? <laughs> no anyway Wake up. no i think it sounds really interesting and you know, you wait long enough, there's a peg for every story, right, Richard? That's, that's, that's my motto. That's how I live, Because <laughs> there is a study in JAMA this week. Just as luck would have it, we I had know. this piece ready to go. <laughs> anyway. All right, so everybody, I think that's reason enough to watch the CBS Evening News with Richard Schlesinger, don't you? Uh, oh, did I get promoted? <laughs> Was I sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> you were <laughs> napping, exactly. Napping. Anyway, so that's it for this Monday edition of First Look.